Mr. MDU Battle Broadcast, round two. I lost the die roll. Um, there's literally no lands in this, so I have the mulligan. I can keep this, it's not very good though. Land on top, definitely keeping that. City of Brass. Okay, so this has to be a Nausium. There's no other deck which we want that. Uh, that means my Searing Blaze is going to be dead. And my Grimlock Mask is going to be pretty hard. Gonna fetch for black, use um, command, swing in for, well, a pitiful 5 damage. Bringing him down to a nice little um, 14 life total. With um, City of Brass in his um, in play, he can probably go down to another 1, so probably go to 13 by next turn. After that, I'll have um, either Lava Spike or, or Skycrack to play. Probably Lava Spike, because I can use Lava Spike plus Poke at the same time. No, I guess, yes, that'll be the best play. If possible. Do, do three turns. One, two, three. So I happen to turn four to kill him. That's going to be very, very difficult, actually. That's four damage, at the very least. Six damage. That's at least ten damage I can inflict on him. That's that's a three damage only. Possibly uh, five. We'll see. That's not enough though. I guess if I can, if I can resolve a um Eidolon on turn two, I'll be in a pretty nice position. Not enough to kill him though. My opponent is multi-killing, I think I said that earlier. So this is going to be a reasonably slow game. Let's have a look at this last game he played. Actually no, it was fairly quick the last game. Might not be too bad. We'll see. So he had no plays. Blood Crips. Seriously considering this going to lava spike and, and um, poke. But I think swinging now is the best choice here. He may fog me though, which would be annoying. I'm so dead.
This is turn three. His thing comes down on next turn, I believe. So probably love spike could poke him. I can do two damage now. Bring him down to um seven. The nine, sorry. Or can hit him with lava spike and poke him for one. I'll do four damage to him, bring him down to seven. I'll just mourn the end. And this is when I die. Yep, Grace. Yep, he knows what he's doing. I really needed the um, Idolon to win this. Well, the good thing is I can see what he has in his hand before he kills me. He's working with. Nothing unusual so far. Okay, time for sideboarding. I have at least um four dead cards in my um main deck at the moment. And about four um weak cards. So I'll pull out the dead cards first, which is the Searing Blazers. Then the weak cards, which is Grim Lava Monsters, followed by the somewhat not great cards, the Leaf Scout Cracks. In its place, I bring in the four um, revs here. Oh wow, my um, my options are pretty bad. I guess Tugno Ignis is not that bad to um, do damage through the ley line. Line type card. Hitting artifacts is not really doing me anything, any big huge favors here. Probably the Singleton Charm. No, maybe on the draw, but on the play, definitely no. I'll keep the scout cracks. I'll cut another Ignis, not very good. I 
This matchup is actually a lot easier with the Nakado version. First, I can keep this hard hand. Ley line. No. Okay. Doesn't need to be playing any fetch lands. So my bears are gonna be very well bearish. Blood crypt, paying two life, going for lightning bolt. Time to cast my horrendous bear. To be honest, using instant speed spells is not the greatest plan, because it means his um his angel grace is gonna be much worse against me. Or much better against me, sorry. Alright, time to cast the bear. These are mainly for the um for escape ship and the um the blue matchup. I'm considering destroying that right now. I'm not going to because he may have the um artifact in hand, so I'll just go for the attack instead. It's very possible that I just might just lose next, like, straight after this turn. We'll see. But if he just casts the, um, out of the, um, on life, I'll win. And now I finally, finally regret not destroying his um his prison. Plenty of mana now. Fetching for green source because I have a green card in my hand. Come on, death spell. Alrighty, let's give this a shot. Um, Angel's Grace. It does not. I get there. Okay. Well, I'm now on the draw. The um, tongue ends seem much worse than they were even uh, than earlier. I'll go with the charm because I'm on the draw, and I guess I'll keep a single tin grim here.
Yeah, I can keep this. If I can draw land, this can become so powerful. There you go. The hand is now really, really powerful. Mind drawing one more land. There you go. I'm extremely happy now with this hand. I'm actually considering casting um Bump in the Night plus Swift Spear and dealing No. I think the Edelon's a better choice here. Even though I'll be walking into a um sleeper spell. I just lose next turn though. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven. It's not enough, I think he beaten me. Because um bumping it does not count as damage. Oh, this really sucks. Does not count as um It's actually inflicting damage, so it does nothing to him. Oh he conceded. Oh, thank goodness. Because, um, you see, if he actually took the free damage from this, he wouldn't have lost. 